The purpose of this video is to dissect the boost mechanic in Rocket League for Xbox One as well as the same feature in Subnautica. Playing the game Rocket League, the player has the ability to boost of some sort. This boost comes from a rocket on the back of the car, visually, for as long as you hold the corresponding button. For the Xbox One, it happens to be the B button. The player can hit the boost and gain about twice as much velocity than going forward. This boost will last for as long as the player holds the boost button down or until the stamina bar runs out. The stamina bar is a bar on the player's UI that shows the player how long they can boost for or how much energy the boost currently has. While holding down the boost button, the boost will activate the stamina bar will, de will deplete. Depletion of the stamina bar is gradual and once it's empty the boost will stop. The stamina bar will not regenerate itself. The player needs to run into an orange charging spot strategically placed on the map. Little charge spots give a little bit of energy while big spots give the player a full tank of energy. However, these large charging spots are scarce and hard to claim for yourself. The edge case, edge case for this feature mechanic, I would believe, is that if you jump your car and press the boost, it will launch you across the field like a rocket. While aiming your car by tilting before you leave the ground uh, and pressing the boost, you can send it can send you soaring in the air after the ball. Doing this will give the player a strategic advantage over the competition that can't fly. Another game that shares similar features is Subnautica. In this game, you can build a pawn suit, uh, which basically is a small mech designed to break up rocks. This suit, is hand this suit is handy, but not very maneuverable underwater. The devs added a type of underwater jetpack or rocket to assist the player in getting to difficult to reach spots. The feature works the same. Uh, there is a button you press to activate the jet boost, which will give you a very slight boost of speed and also launch you mainly straight up uh, in the air. There is some control over the button, but it's mainly going in the direction you start the boost from. There is a similar stam stamina bar uh, that controls how long you can boost from. This one, however, will gradually regenerate after we stop hitting the launch button. It it will regenerate slowly if still in the air and much faster once on the ground. Degeneration is a constant speed.